All right, we here again. Another Ask Chrissy. I was trying to rap and I have failed. Whoop, whoop. That's wine. So we going into the first question. Sean. Hi, Chrissy. It's Sean. I found your videos a couple of months ago and have been watching relig religiously ever since. Thank you. I have a couple of questions. Okay. So this may be a little short. First question, what are your obsessions, things, shows, people, etc.? <sighs> My obsessions, uh, skincare, Korean skincare, specifically sheet masks. Korean skincare has saved my face. My face used to look terrible. I mean, it still looks terrible because I'm ugly, but yeah, I had acne scars everywhere. I would get random breakouts. But for the most part, my skin has improved drastically thanks to Korean skincare. I don't play when it comes to my skincare now. Every night, it takes me maybe like 30, 30 minutes. My boo makes fun of me because he's like, it takes forever to wash your face. And I'm like, listen, you like it. Other obsessions, um, just like self-care in general. I say all the time that I am a body, bath and body hoe. Not just, not bath and body works, but I mean bath and body hoe. I love soaps, I love lotions, I love body butters. I love anything that makes me smell good and makes me feel soft. Love it. Scrubs, all of that shit. Beyonce. But I don't think that counts as an obsession because I just feel like Beyonce is an integral part of my life. Game of Thrones, of course. Duh. Dark lipstick and dark eyeliner. I like black eyeliner, coal eyeliner. Second question. What is your biggest issue right now? Whoo, Sean, <sighs> you just trying to get all up in my business. My biggest issue right now is money. Money. I am trying to get my shit together. I'm trying to move a new fucking computer, get a camera so I can properly record and feel like I'm important and special. So I can be an official YouTuber. We got a question from Nicole. I was about to say we got a call. <laughs> hey boo, hey girl. My name's Nicole. Yeah, I know it's spelled weird. She spelled it N-I-C-K-O-L-E. That is unusual. I wouldn't call it weird though. It's you, be you, do you boo. Love all your videos, especially Tandy and your Game of Thrones recaps. Thank you. Here's the question. How do you think Game of Thrones will end? Who will be on the throne? Who do you want on the throne if they're different? I don't make Game of Thrones predictions because that shit can go anyway. It's one of the main reasons why I love the show because it's the only show that I watch, the only show that I've ever heard of where you just don't know what the fuck is going on and you don't know what will happen and all of your favorite people die. Except for Oprah Martell because he's coming back season nine. I don't know who will be on the throne. I hope it's not Danny. I really don't want her to be on the throne. Who I want to be on the throne, realistically, Jon Snow. Unrealistically, Arya Stark. I think she deserves everything good in the world. This next question is from Paloma. Hey girl, how you doing? Hey Chrissy, no words can describe how absolutely amazing you are. Thank you. Y'all really don't know that I am a terrible fucking person. And I appreciate that. It's amazing. That means I'm doing a great acting job. You're actually the only person I'm subscribed to. Wow. Oh my Lord, that's a lot of pressure. I'm, I'm telling you, there are people that are much better than me. I promise. Uh, always be happy, girl. I will try as long as I have alcohol. My two questions are, okay, we, we had a two-parter. One, how to stop worrying about what others think of you. I mean, I think as long as you remember some way or somehow, either write it down, put it on your wall, Put a reminder on your phone that no matter what you're going to do, folks ain't going to like what you got to do or say or look like anyway. So just do what the fuck you feel like doing as long as it doesn't hurt or disrespect anybody or disrespect anybody's existence. You can do all the right things and still fail. You can do everything exactly right and somebody will have a problem with it. Somebody's going to somebody's gonna hate it. So you might as well just do what you feel is right and keep it the fuck moving. Two. If you had to choose between having Roman Reigns ooh, as some prominent character on GOT or Ober Martell somehow back on the show, which one would you choose? Why would you do this to me? Why, 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 why do you, why would you hurt me like this? Why are y'all doing this to me? I, 
Well, first of all, Oprah is coming back anyway, season nine or 10 or 11. So I will default and I will say Roman Reigns because Oprah is already coming back anyway. Everybody knows that he's coming back. So Roman Reigns, yeah, absolutely. So then they could both be on the show because he's coming back. He's coming back. I love him. He wouldn't leave me. He's coming back. This question is from Alicia. Hey, Chrissy, I literally adore your videos and your videos make me laugh every time that I watch them. Thank you. You seem to never let me down. Oh, well, that's a lot of pressure. Thanks. <clears throat> I'm nervous now. I have two questions, and my first question is, have you ever watched Prison Break? Yes. Yes, I have, and I love that motherfucking show. Although I haven't watched the newest season, not yet. My second question is, how do you deal with a family member who has been living with you for some time now, which would be more than a year, and doesn't inform you on their status of moving? Thank you, Chrissy, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See, this is iffy because it depends on which family member. If it's one of your parents, then it's kind of like you just kind of deal with it until you can't. I don't know. That's delicate. I know damn well I couldn't live with either one of my parents now. All of us would end up killing each other. But if it's not one of your parents, I would I would be throwing them subtle hints. I would be leaving brochures around the house about other apartments. I would be texting them links to apartments that I found that are reasonably reasonably priced. Are they paying rent? Is if they're not paying rent, then that speeds up the timeline. Because now we got a problem. All right, so we had John. Hey, Chrissy. I've been watching your channel for a long time, and I love to see you in my subscription. Oh, I moved out of my cousin's house a year ago. Good for you. While living there, I paid the cable bill and the gas bill. Both were expensive as hell. I work six days a week, and I live on the other side of the state, but they call me every day asking me for money that I got from my taxes. I gave her a little to help her, to help pay her rent, but she got a dog instead. And now asked me to pay her vet bills. I just want to know how to say get a job and stop living off the government and other people. John, P.S. Love you, Queen. Thank you, boo. Um, Yeah, just say it like that. Like, no, I gave you money for rent and you used it to buy a dog. No. D no is a complete sentence. The next time she texts you and say, hey, can I get... No. And if she talk, texts back talking some bullshit, don't respond. You don't have to respond. You can block them. Don't let nobody sponge off of you like that. You moved out. You paid your debt. No. Last question is from Enrique. Hey, Christy. My name is Enrique. God, I love your videos so much. Hi. I've been watching your videos for years. You always know how to make me laugh. I show your videos to my friends whenever I can. Thank you. I've been meaning to send a question for years, but bitches, been, bitches be procrastinated. I know that's right. LMAO. Okay, anyways, I got a few questions. All right. First question. What is your favorite song at the moment? Uh, Hymn for the Weekend by Coldplay and Beyonce. Second question. Have you ever been confronted by anyone who you have talked about in your videos? Meaning they saw a video you made about them and they got mad. No, that's never happened. And I've been looking forward to that. I can't wait for somebody to come up to me and like, I can't believe you said that about me. What? <laughs> did you really mean that? Yes, I did. Would you like me to repeat it? Third question. I just recently quit my job. It's part time. I'm a senior in high school. Okay. What are some jobs that you have held any time in your life that you hated the most and why? Ever make a big scene and quit on the spot. Thanks and have an awesome day. Keep making us laugh with your hilarious self. Thank you, Enrique. Um, one, no, I have never made a big scene. Um, I I try not to burn bridges with with jobs and money. I don't want to do that uh, because you never know who's watching. So you never want to fuck up your next opportunity. I don't think I've ever hated any of the jobs that I've worked at. I've always hated aspects of it. I am from Cleveland, Ohio, born and raised. And I used to work at this amusement park back in the day. 
about 30 minutes away from Cleveland called Geauga Lake. And I worked at, I worked in the food service department and I worked in the rides. And I hated when I worked in food, like being around the grease and shit, cause I would it just fuck up my skin. Also on the rides, there was this ride that I that that I that I worked, and it was in the kids part, and it, you would get on a raft. It was like a little raft ride. It's little kids get in, they hold onto the straps, and they just ride down a little loop, loop, whatever. I hated standing in the sun all fucking day. It was hot. We had to wear, um, we had to wear a uniform. And I wore pants because I didn't like to wear the shorts. I just didn't want my fat ass with them shorts on. I stood in the sun all damn day. I'm pretty sure I have skin cancer just because of that job. And I stood all day. There were no chairs. I just stood. My feet hurt all the fucking time. And it was a water ride. So my feet were wet and my feet were hurting. My feet looked disgusting after that, after every summer. That's I love that job so much because I met so many cool people. There were international workers they had there. I have um, some of my friends I still talk to to this day from Romania. I've, I've never hated any job that I worked at. Just different aspects of it. We did it. We finished. That was uh, the two Ask Chrissies of this week. Y'all already know if you want to be an Ask Chrissy in this video series, just uh, shoot me an email, ask underscore Chrissy at yahoo.com. All my social media, all my information, where to contact me uh, is going to be in the description box below. Once again, shameless plug, me and my friends have a podcast. It is called Houston, We Have a Problem. It is on the Black Astronauts Network. Um, look for Black, Black Astronauts Network on Google Play or iTunes and then look for HWAP. It's within those episodes. And so if you want to be a patron, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Chrissy Chula. If you are not into that subscription shit, that's fine. Be an anarchist, be a, be a rebel. Uh, just drop me something, drop me some change at my PayPal. Shit, fuck it, you know. Uh, my PayPal information is going to be in the description box below too. I'm just trying to get my shit together, trying to build this channel up and then hopefully I can grow and I can have meet and greets and shit and all that good stuff. That's it. I, I have nothing else to say. I was going to try to say something clever. I have nothing for you. That's, that's all I got.